Hello friends. Today we'll see how to create a web page using WordPress. On uh, going to the WordPress website, uh, we'll be able to see a screen like this. And uh, assuming that we have already created an account on the WordPress, and we also have created a website on WordPress. Uh, now will be showing creating a new page web page on this on our website that we have created so on the left hand top uh, corner we can see this my site on clicking which we get to this page on which we have a lot of options this uh, a star written, written over here is the name of the website and the url is this a star learning uh, this number dot wordpress dot com below this if i click on this view site i'll be able to see the site okay and if i come to this manage section then these are the site pages on clicking which i can see all the site pages which i have created uh, this is my videos about me research areas which is a sub page within uh, about me and a contact web page so these all pages are published and the blog posts are also published if I click on drafts I don't have any draft web page under construction if I go to scheduled scheduled to be published uh, no web page yet and in trash also no web page yet so now let us just uh, go back to this left menu of site pages and click on add so this is what i get so this is a new web page that i have to edit and create now it is asking for the title let me give it a title face to face session at remote center okay and uh, here i can add some text let's say we had a wonderful face to face session at the rc today next is uh, we added reflection spots and uh, learning by doing activities on to uh, on an NPTEL video okay that's what we did today and then we shared a link of the blog containing these uh, reflection spots and uh, learning by doing activities with our RC coordinator who would share this uh, with the other RCs or the FDP coordinator okay so I have added some text over here and after adding this text uh, let me put a link to this blog okay let me type a link to this blog okay let me put this uh, as a continuation yeah now uh, let me just justify the text here it looks better link to this block can come uh, okay the next line or I can say link to the blog uh, link to the blog of uh, reflection spots and uh, lbd let's say 
this is where I want to give the link so I select all this text then I take this link and uh, because I want to link to an existing content which is a blog which I've already created the name of that blog is advanced composites uh, advanced composites is the name of the video the name of the course uh, in which I selected one video for which I added the reflection spots and the learning by doing activities so this link as soon as I select this any one of this the link comes automatically over here URL and then I say add link so the link has come now um, on the right hand side I can see some page settings let's see what they are under status um, I can choose to publish immediately or at a future date and time let us uh, go with publish immediately I can uh, opt it to be public or only available to admins and editors or uh, it can be password protected as well let it let us keep it public you can select to be selected to be pending review or not then I can give it some tags uh, to help somebody who is searching to be able to reach this page let's say I want to give this tag of face-to-face -face session then I can give some featured image and the next is uh, page attributes so in, I can choose it to be a top level page or I can want I can choose it to be uh, a child page of some other parent page so let me mm, select my videos uh, for just for now to be the parent page uh, to be a page which will be parent to this face-to-face uh, -face session page and the face-to-face -face session page would be a child page uh, related to the my videos page uh, we'll see how that functions and then for sharing uh, we can see that uh, we can allow some sharing buttons like button and then there are some more options about the slug slug is basically uh, the last part of the URL uh, to this page uh, like uh, you, you look here so this is the URL HTTPS then this is the website dot wordpress dot com slash uh, so after the slash this part of the URL is the slug uh, which actually uh, identifies uh, the web page where you are going and uh, wordpress uh, by default takes uh, the title of the web page as the slug we can change it if you want if for more information you click over here and it shows the slug is the part of a web address uh, the last part actually that identify the specific page within a site so this is the site and this is the web page identifier which we call it as a slug uh, which identifies the page within this website of WordPress okay we can give some excerpt also and then we can allow comments if you want and we can select a page to copy if you want so all this is done so let us go and look at the preview okay so i click on preview and this is how the page will look like uh, this is uh, the header image and this is the name of the title of the website and now this is how the web page will look like face to face session at remote center we entered this text and then we had this link if i click on this link i come to the blog right so this is the blog which i had created this is the title of the course lecture one video in link this will take you to the youtube video uh, on which uh, i have created this reflection questions and the lbd activities okay so uh, let's go back um, not here let's say site pages see um, because i have come over here it's not yet published so if you look at the top the continue editing it's showing face to face session at remote center if i click on this i should go back to where i was yes okay now i have seen the preview and now it is saved so let me publish it i click on this and it will ask me once again double check your settings do i want to really publish immediately do i really want it to be public if i'm sure let me say publish so it is publishing it shows the status over here and then after a while it will be published so page is published on a star website 
and now I can simply visit the site and see for myself how it looks like okay so this is how it looks like on my website if I go to about me page this is how the about me page looks like and now you can see that the main menu here doesn't contain uh, the face-to-face -face session it is a second level page it is not the top level page okay top, top level pages are this about me then my videos and contact the second level pages are research areas and face-to-face -face session uh, the research area web page is a child of about me page and face-to-face -face session at remote center is a child of my videos page okay so to reach face-to-face -face session at remote center page I have to first go to my videos page Oh, sorry I can directly um, this is directly embedded here so I have to just uh, hover my uh, cursor over this my videos uh, main menu the primary menu and then I can go down to the drop down option of this uh, child page and I click on this and then I will get my web page here face to face session okay I'll show you how that works also my pages uh, my site if I go to site pages Okay, so here it shows see face to face session this web page is a child of my videos and research areas is a child of about me okay like this uh, we can create other web pages which will be a children of face to face session also like this we can have indentation and uh, all will be uh, shown as primary menu and drop down menus uh, from the parent web pages so this is how we can create uh, the site pages let us go back to the site visit site and here we can see okay so home page shows uh, all the latest blogs that I have created this is this one was created today and then this was the previous one on October 1 experience with the ongoing FTP and then the previous one usage of online tools and before that some other content that I had prepared and uh, when I go to my videos, I just have to hover my mouse uh, cursor over here and I'll be able to see the child web page that I made just now. Okay, so thank you for your time and attention.